is Charity and I am coming here today to show you a quick Photoshop tutorial. Um, if you have not subscribed to my page, it's not too late. Um, I plan on being way more active. I actually have a few tutorials in the chamber, um, but let's get started. A lot of people are interested in um, editing skin tones and complexions of different characters just to have a little bit more representation. For example, something that's really popular is the African American Rugrats. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Well, I've learned, I've been doing Photoshop for about six months. No, seven months. Whatever. When my son was born, um, I downloaded Photoshop basically. So I guess he's eight months now. So yeah, about eight months. And I've discovered there are a ton of ways to skin a cat. Basically, you find your image, save it, which I've already done that. So I'm going to go straight into this. Um, you would just create a new folder. I mean, a new document. And this really doesn't matter. I typically prefer for this to be RGB color and it saves as a PNG and all of that. So I, I feel like it translates well. When I find out otherwise about this, I will let you know. Um, so I just hit create. So file, place embedded, and here I will find the file that you saved. Mine is Angelica Pickles. So in here, I kind of make her bigger. Um, then you just kind of click this button. If you were to do this, then she would, um, it basically confirms or denies your action. So confirm it. If I would have denied the action, she would just not be here and it would still be a blank screen. So um, first of all, you have to rasterize it, which allows you to edit it because right now it's a smart object. So, for example, I grab my paint bucket, you can't paint, and it will most likely direct you and say, hey, this is a smart object, you must rasterize. Okay, cool. So, that rasterizes it. Another way is to, as you see, rasterize layer is an option, but we've already done that by just clicking OK. So, I have my brown selected, which if you want to edit, I mean, find a new color, just come down here, double click. And there's your color. So it's as simple as clicking into the space that you want to be that color. This right here, I'll show you probably when we get to the hair. But so her skin changed, wonderful, awesome. So I'm gonna try to find a darker shade of brown for her hair. Let's find. Also, we'll come here to paint bucket. Boom. It's like you right click and you get these options. So you can do a gradient tool, but paint bucket is what I'm looking for. Um, and he didn't do it so much there, but um, her hair is still a little orangey on the, I mean, yellowish on the outside. So I come here, which is my history. And it takes you back to where you need to go eat. So if I messed up, I can even go a step steps further just to kind of see where it was, but really come back. So I am going to here change the tolerance to 100, which for me, um, I don't know if it's what it really does, but I think it eliminates all the extra space. Like it's less yellow to me. And it could just be me tripping i haven't had any formal classes on photoshop so everything that i know is is self-taught so she looks good um this is the background move her around right up in here it's still a little something that came with the photo I'm not really worried about it but if you wanted to erase it so it can be totally just Angelica, you would come here to the eraser tool. I like to click the magic eraser. 
and boom, that little space is gone. Do the same for this other side. That little space is gone. So it's just her perfect. And for the purpose that I'm going to use her for, I can make her smaller. This is something I also had to learn. You go to edit, tra free transform or transform. I'll do transform with scale. Makes her smaller, keeps her in range. Um, I've also been seeing a lot of people. I'm going first of all. I'm going to duplicate this to show you how people sometimes get the white background. Um, copy, and I'm just going to say background. Later, I'll show you how this works for me in Cricut. To since you can't really do like a shadow, this kind of helps you do a shadow. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to do a stroke. As you see, this gives it a stroke, which people typically use white for their images. If, if you're ever wondering how people get that little halo look, that's that's it. So I'm going to click OK. I don't mind it being that color, but that would allow you to I'm move the order so you can see it on top. That would allow you to put this Angelica on top of that. Perfectly. So, yeah, that's how you change the skin tone and also add a halo for not a halo, but a shadow. I could also do that with some text too. Let's see. Um, I'm going to try to find my Rugrats font. I have Rugrats font here. Oh my goodness. I really don't. Okay, no, no fear, no fear. I'm just gonna do regular, schmegular. It's crazy. Just I haven't used it in a while. So, make this big enough so you can see it. Um, I'm gonna go with 100. I'm just going to type in Eris I'm going to make it so big so you can see it all well you know what yeah I'm not going to make it so big control A and go here click it and it's smaller Eris and company for the longest time to do this i had to use a program called inkscape which is fine not knocking it not acting too good for it and i still would use it when i first started out in photoshop so yeah i'm gonna do it right there make this smaller now okay well actually i'm gonna change the color Double click it, then click here. Um, I'm going to use, see how this dropper comes up when you're off the screen. So I'm going to take the color from her dress. Okay, wonderful. Now for me to have that awesome shadow, I need to change my text to a, a rasterized layer or type. So I'm gonna click that. So now, like, you're not going to be able to edit the words. Like, when you rasterize, you pretty much need to make sure you're done with the editing phase. So I'm going to go here, which I don't know the particular name for it. Oh, layer style. So I'm going to go back to stroke, click it, and it's basically going to give me the exact same thing that was already done. Which, if I wanted to, you could edit here. You can change the um, opacity. here and you'll be able to actually see that so it's the same here it's the same thing so you can change that boom now it's exactly how the other one is oh first 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 um need to make a copy or it won't work duplicate layer copy so we have one then for whichever one you add the stroke to that one Perfect. 
So yeah, that really wasn't how it's supposed to go, but the copy under. So yeah, uh oh. So yeah, you just put that right on top, and it's all done. So in order to use it for like um, cricket or something, I would just I don't know. You don't have to do it. Okay. The easiest way for me would just to be inserted as a PNG file. I'm going to show you how to do that really quick because my kids are getting louder. So I'm just going to take all of them away. Um, file, save as, PNG image. Um, I'm going to say brown jelly shadow. Keep her separated from other stuff. So I got her saved. And when you do that, you have to make sure you click this background here that it's off. Um, so that's a background. This I'm going to save as PNG. Uh oh, not Pixar. P oh, yeah. Brown jelly. Okay. And honestly, that was my first time using the stroke option. I would use the shadow, but the stroke works perfectly fine. So, same thing, file save as. Um, Paris and Company Shadow. Okay. File, save as, Ares and company. No shadow. I think I saved that right. So I'm going to open my beta. I'm going to get rid of this. No, I'm going to save that. So here I'm just going to upload. At this point, I'll probably have already had a video showing you how to do so. If I haven't, I'll do it in a minute. So upload using complex because of the multiple colors. But on this one, you actually don't have to since it's a background. So I'm just going to save it as a cut image since it's a shadow. Um, upload another. Uh, jelly. Complex. Continue. 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 Um, just in case this video is the first one you see, I'm going to tell you something. I'm uploading my shadow. Perfect. Complex. With PNG files, you typically don't have a background. And use preview just to get a good look at what you're, you know, what you're working with because it, it could this could have very well been a square only and um, you wouldn't want that it wouldn't do you any good so here this should be my last one. Oh, see I knew I saved that wrong I knew something didn't sit right with my soul save as PNG Ares and Company boom because I didn't get that last step I remember. So yeah, let's go back. Here's some company, just the image. Okay, and continue. Okay, so I'm gonna upload one, two, three, and four. I'm also gonna upload this too. I'm gonna zoom out. So this is currently a print do no no fill and we're first of all i'm going to change my canvas to black canvas color to black boom oops no, don't change the size of one if you're not going to do the other oh, shoot. Um, Thank you.